Hi everyone, this is Kiwi Nina Mori with my second video of hybrid hunting and I'm going to do a comparison with the, my recent hybrid attempts. And so, just mentioned in my other video, I had gotten this new boy and he is already a successful hybrid that I didn't have to hunt for, I bought him used. And he is a Midi doll Miho vampire head, so he has the pointed ears on a Peaks Wood Dandy body. And both companies is, is their suntan resin. And it is a 100% match. So if you want to combine those two companies, definitely go for it. There is no concern on the resin matching there. Um, and the neck is pretty much a good fit. There's barely any gapping there. He has really good mobility. And the proportions look really great. So, so this is definitely a hybrid for someone else to consider. So Miji Doll and Peakswood. So he's my successful hybrid boy. It's, it's nice not to have to hunt down somebody. But my recent mission that I wanted to do is I wanted to shell Ronka Lee from Repress Frontier. And so I decided that I wanted the Crowby doll body, the girl chase M line body. And so this is the body I got in. So it's cute, little small busted. And I didn't like any of the heads that Crowby Doll had for the girls, and so I decided I wanted to put a boy head on the body. And so I bought separately the Crowby Doll Zion R line head, which I got both of them used, so I was hunting down to see which which one would match. But this is only a temporary wig. Just give me an image of what Ronka would look like because her wig is still in the mail, the one from Volks. And my first note is that the Crowby line R is big. <laughs> so the company page did say it was 910, but I had been reading discussions on DOA and people were saying that it that 89 wigs still fitted and that nine tin wigs were too big for the head so they believe that it was still an eight nine head so I went by that um by people who actually own the doll and I kind of think that it's still nine ten. it's a pretty big head this head is really huge so compared to the girl body that is on this boy head kind of looks oddly proportioned um there's the neck it's not too bad it's a fit it's just because the head is so big it kind of drops down into the neck so she doesn't have much of a neck left and so I can't pose her head anything other than down and it goes really down but it won't it won't go back in turn but it's limited mobility because it's not sitting like it should on the neck so the R-line heads are bigger significantly for the inline body if you're trying to go for a hybrid in different sizes for that same company just keep that in mind if it doesn't bother you as much then it's a good thing but I kind of wanted her to have a lot of mobility and her head to be proportional to her body it's, it's very anime though still because her character is an anime character um but Cheryl's head is like um, a size 8 solid. So once Cheryl's comes back from her face up, I can compare them, but it's pretty noticeable the difference. Um, so I could show you this head in compared to another 8 9 head that I have. So I'm going to remove this head and try it on some other bodies so that you can see in case anyone is looking for a boy body to put their Kroby doll head on, this can help out. It's like, since I wanted it on a girl, I gotta try it on just another girl body I have. Not too many. Right. 
and this head is definitely big. It's it's pretty much covering most of my hand. <laughs> so I have my um doll ziv head, which is it's just it's on the smaller side, so probably like a solid eight, like my Cheryl head. And I want, as you can see, this head is significantly bigger to this eight size head. It's <laughs> Pretty much a crown down. <laughs> so, going to. So, this head is newer than the body. It's not as yellowed as the Kobe body I have for it. So, hopefully, the resin match with my other newer dolls will help anyone when they're trying to resin match. So, I'm going to try it on the Resin Soul 60, 70 centimeter boy body. They always have a lot of string for resin soul. I'm afraid to cut it because what if I want to change it? So this head pretty much just sits right on it. Gotta stuff all that string back in there. knots in the string are so big they won't go through this. Okay, well I'm just gonna have this sit there for for comparison reasons, but I'm not gonna force this knot through the hole yet. Right. So this is the Kirby Line R head on a resin sole 70 centimeter body. It's like neck wise it's not too bad. It it's no there's no real gapping. But it does kind of just it's, it's a long neck really. Hmm. I'm trying to think if the string is affecting that more than it should be. Come out. The struggle for hiding. No, that's not going to go through. So, this is actually in need of some modifications if anyone wants to do this because the neck mobility is is pretty limited because of the way this head sits on the neck. It, it can't move forward and it can't move back. It just sits there. You can't even turn it very much, so it would definitely need modifications if you want it to use the Kroby head on the resin sole. But proportions aren't too bad. It's just that neck that's really long, so you probably need to sand it down. Right. I'm gonna try it on my doll family A body. So right away, this this head sucks in the neck. This company does have a pretty small neck. So proportion-wise, not bad. It's not. So if the resin was a perfect match, it would be less noticeable that it's not bad for the body. But I think. It's a pretty good look for it. Neck is good. There's enough gap where you can turn your head down, move it back, at least a little bit. Turn fully around. So this is the normal yellow skin, and it's it's a noticeable more yellow than the head. But if you get the pink skin, I'm pretty sure it'll match closer. Maybe just 
blush it to match. I think it would probably be a safe hybrid to attempt. And I'm going to try this head on my Doll in Mind girl body. That body is a little more thicker, so I imagine it would look good proportion wise for a bigger head rather than the tiny head that the company has for the body. Once again, lots of string. <laughs> it's a sign I need to make my dolls looser. But I, I love having posability be a thing. <laughs> okay, got that knot through. You get to watch me struggle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tuck away all that string back in here. And I think it's not a bad proportion wise. That, that looks really good, actually. That looks like a more better fit than the head that was that was on this body originally from the company. Um, the neck is really good. There's enough neck space after you have the head on there. She can move her head back, forward a bit. She can move it further back than she can forward. Can turn to the side. Resin is not too bad a match. The Kroby doll is a little more yellow than the doll in mind. But with her face up, you can't really tell because she has that pink blush on her cheeks. So, definitely a, another good hybrid option to do. I do have my Dolce Rhythmos body because this head is so big I assume maybe the gigantic neck for Dolce will be okay with it. So I'm just going to try that. If anyone wants to try Kroby doll in Dolce, since they are having all these cells lately, get the body easily. My saint, it's still blank here. I need to go ahead and send him out for a face up. I'm waiting till other dolls come back in. Don't want to have too many away from home all at the same time. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna happen. Dolce, you've done it again. Your neck is so specific so I can't even get the head on there it's it's not gonna sit because it's so wide you would definitely have to sand the neck in the front to get that on there Awkward. yep but I don't, can't really help anyone visualize what this would look like on the neck so I, th proportion wise, this head is probably still really big for a Dolce body. <laughs> That's, well they do have tiny heads, ironically, despite having these broad shoulders and wide necks. So I don't really think that high will work out too much without modifications. So my other hybrid project is my my Impel doll Ziv, where she is currently on a doll more youth Eve girl body that has been modded and with the bust sanded down. So if anyone is considering putting Impel doll with doll more, it's the head is small enough where it doesn't look bad with the neck. She can lean forward, 
put head back. Turn fully. So I think it's a really good fit for her. There is some space left in there because this head is a boy head and it was meant for a thicker neck. But I like the proportions. It's it's a tiny head so it looks good with the youthy body. I'm going to put it on the, the Dalmore Youth Boy Body so you can see with that thicker neck what the hybrid would look like. Poor Newt is without his body for this video. So I can't give you a good resin comparison because this head is actually a white skin that I've yellowed so much it goes well with my normal skin <laughs> Dalmore. That says a lot about this head. <laughs> but so this is what the sieve head looks like on a boy body from Dalmore. The neck is it's still a good fit. Move forward a little bit, back a little bit more, turn. But the chin is very short because of the sculpt, so it kind of looks awkward. Proportion wise, it's okay. It's, it sort of just reminds me of the comparison of Zal heads on, this, on the larger bodies. It's just one of those slender heads that I think would be fine with a wig on. Wouldn't be as bad. Alright. Proportions are okay. So that's what Impel Doll looks like on there. And future videos, I will be having my, my Cheryl head that I'm going to try to hybrid on a body. So she's a Dalmore Sochan head, and I have a Limwalk girl body coming in. I also have my Mary doll Round Funk head coming in, which is my Grail doll. So I'm going to find her body, and that will be my next project for my hybrid hunting. So thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you in searching for your own hybrids. See you next time.